Hello and welcome to the replay. I'll be with you in just a minute. Hi Leslie, I'll be right there. Hi Cindy. Okay, well hello everybody. As you can see, I have a little bit of a different format tonight. Uh, we're gonna be working on a really, really large project like I told you about, hello there and um, I needed a bigger space so there was no way I could put my camera right up on top so that you could see because I'm working with a, a pine board that is about six and a half feet long um, I think it's about 10 inches wide so we're going to be doing a really really large uh, project tonight but it shouldn't take too long believe it or not hi Miss Nancy welcome welcome all right, I hope I can uh, set this up so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I have this board against the window. It, there's such a far reach out. I'm gonna tip my camera just a little bit more so you get to the end of this board. All right, we're almost there. <laughs> I put it right against the window, it should work. Okay, so hello, hello, I am Susan Tapley and I am an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And my website, if you are interested in any of the projects that you see here tonight or in the replays that you might have seen earlier, just hit that tab down there and it'll take you right to my website. It's also listed in the description of this uh, program tonight. So, hello. Tonight we are going to be working on um, a brand new transfer in our new catalog and it's called Growth Chart. And I don't know about you guys, but my kids used to love to like stand up against the wall where we'd mark it with a pen and we'd write uh, their names, the date, and how so you could see how tall they were throughout the year. Well, one of the things that we noticed was that one point we had to change our woodwork a little bit. So what do you do with that board? The way that this is made, no matter where you move to, you can take it with you because it's a separate standalone piece that you can keep out for display or you can tuck it away somewhere out of the way and just use it when you want to measure your kids. But it's something that you can always have. It's a keepsake you can keep forever. So I'm going to show you the transfer right here. This is our big beautiful transfer. Let me bring it down this way and you can see a little better. So as you can see, it is marked in 12 inch increments. You've got your quarter inch, your, uh, your feet rather, <laughs> sorry. So you can measure all of the inches up to one foot all the way up to when they are six and a half feet tall. My children never grew that big. <laughs> I'm kind of glad. Um, we're kind of small people, so I think my tallest is maybe maybe 5'10", maybe 5'10". You guys have taller kids than that? Um, if they're taller than six and a half feet tall, this might not be the project for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So not only do we have the measurements, we also have this cute little phrase, love grows here. And you could use this transfer just as it is, or you can decorate it up to match your decor. Um, I did bring a little floral template in case I wanna add a little something something to it. Um, but you can use it just plain as it is. The other cool thing about this is that I did a gray sign. It's very gender neutral. If you've got a house full of boys or your decor is in blue, you could do it in blue, you can do it in white, you can make a black chart, whatever your heart desires. Um, not only that, yeah, I think I forgot to bring those out, didn't I? Did we, oh, I didn't. We have something um, that is kind of new. I haven't really used these very much, but these are called chalk markers. And they come in white, black, and I believe there's a silver and a gold. So that instead of you know taking out a pen and trying to get your um, your ages and stages and ages um, names marked, you can use this chalk pen too. So are you ready to get started? All right. So there are more than one way to skin a cat, right? So what I'm going to do instead of cutting this transfer all into like four, five different pieces. I'm going to show you a trick that I learned from a sister designer of mine and what she does is she lifts up the transfer just a little bit. I'm going to step off camera maybe and she, um, instead of cutting right through the carrier sheet she just slides it along the transfer with her scissors and this is one way that you can cut your transfers without cutting the backing 
And what that does is it helps you to replace the transfer right back on the carrier sheet and putting it, you can put it right back into the, um, the little plastic sleeve that it comes in without it being all over the place and jumbled up in pieces. Does that make sense, you guys? All right, a couple more here I gotta get done. Let's see if it, yep, hey, this is working pretty well. So these are all numbered. It's pretty obvious with this one. Um, you start at one foot and you work your way up to six and a half, but they are numbered one through four or five so that you'll know exactly which one goes where. I think you're pretty smart though, you just use the numbers. That's working out pretty well. I've also heard that people use um, coupon cutters to do this. There's some pretty smart people that I work with, don't you think? All right, one more here. I am just zipping it up. Does this camera angle make you guys feel dizzy? This feels really strange to me, I'll tell you. Okay, well one more cut. Leslie, did I hear that you got electricity today? This afternoon. There's a lot of people in our area that have had their power out since we had a big storm, was that two days ago? Two days, I believe. All right, we got it. Okay, so these have all been cut apart and we will see how this goes. So I'm gonna start on the bottom and work my way up to the top. Hopefully you guys can see this, should be able to. If you're not seeing it well or hearing me well, please let me know and I'll see if I can make an adjustment. But I had to take up the whole room with this. So I'm gonna peel this apart. And with this transfer, I know that um, the board that I'm using is, is going to be fine if I don't fuzz it. So I'm gonna pop this on here and work my way up the board. Okay, so the bottom of the transfer is at, at the starting point. So I'm just gonna lay it there. And I'm gonna put these about three quarters of an inch away from the edge. I didn't want it right on the edge. So these also have um, registration marks in them. You cannot see me, can you? Let me see if I can change something a little. It's totally upside down, isn't it? Let me flip my camera. See if, <laughs> see if I can make this better. I'm sorry, I don't usually, yeah, that's better, right? I don't usually do it this way. Yay, half an hour ago. Leslie, I'll bet you got your air conditioner cranking. All right, so these do have registration marks right here and right here. If I was working on a chalkboard, I would absolutely chalk those marks with no problem. But I'm gonna find a piece of tape and put just a little bit of tape underneath those registration marks. The reason is because um, wood is porous and if I put little marks right there, I probably won't be able to get them off. So let's just grab a little bit of this. This is painter's tape. Um, Chuck Couture has its own, oh my gosh, this is tight. His own brand of washi tape. Um, that works really well too if you don't have this. Come on now, this is stubborn. I'm going the wrong way, there we go. I got it. All right, so I'm just gonna cut a piece of this or not. I had so much trouble with the washi tape before. Okay, so I'm gonna peel this up a little bit and put the paper right under where those holes are, or at least attempt to. A little bit lower. So the tape is gonna prevent the chalk paste from going onto the wood, if that makes sense at all. That looks great. Okay, my husband's out there cutting the grass. You might be able to hear that. All right, so my plan, this is so crooked, it drives me crazy. My plan is to, um, there. Oh well, it is what it is, right? I'm gonna do all of the numbers and the lines in white, bright white. So I have a new jar. I don't know if you remember, but this week I have been r running really low on a few of my colors and white is one of them. So we're gonna bust out a brand new jar tonight. Throw that away. 
And as always, the first thing you're going to want to do is stir up your paste really, really well. So I'm using um, a stir stick. These are from Chuck Couture. You see those beautiful Couture blue. I also have some white ones in here. These are makeup applicators. If you um, don't have any of these stir sticks, the best thing to use is the, um, the handle end of a plastic fork knife or spoon. And just give it a good stir. When you first get them, they are a little bit thicker sometimes. And a lot of times the, um, the liquidy part is down towards the bottom. So you just have to incorporate all of those pigments and all of those oils and stir it up really, really well and get it nice and smooth. You want it to be about the consistency of cake batter. However, if it is a little thicker, you can add um, a couple drops of distilled water and mix, 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 mix until it's just the right consistency. This is almost perfect already. All right, I'm gonna call it done. Put that in the lid. Okay, squeegee. All right, if you are watching and are new, please say hello so that I know you're here and can say hello to you. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that S-H-A-R-E tab for me. And um, we, we call that sprinkling when we are live because Facebook doesn't like the word S-H-A-R-E. So please hit that S-H-A-R-E tab and sprinkle the love. And um, at the end of the week, I'm going to do drawings for five people this week who have hit that button for me. So go for it. Make sure that you put shared in the comments. So what I'm doing is I'm spreading this paste over all of the areas where you see the lines. And you probably can't see that from where you are. But there is a silk screen that runs through this whole design. I'll show you on the next one that I pull up. And the screen is what gives all of the detail in our projects. So I'm just spreading this all over the design. You don't have to cover all of that blue area. It's not necessary but just the areas where there are cutout areas where you can see the screens. I'm also gonna to remember to chuck those registration marks too. And that'll help me line up the next piece. So after you have your whole design covered, you're gonna go back over it and remove all that excess chalk paste and put it into your jar for your next project. This jar is gonna last me a good long time. Okay. So chalk paste is not paint at all. It is actually a creamy form of chalk. It goes on wet, dries in a matter of minutes. It is water soluble if you use this on a non-porous surface such as chalkboards, windows, metal, or glass. Tonight we are using a porous surface. Wood is porous. It will soak right in and will be almost impossible to remove unless you paint over it. So after it's all covered and while it's still wet, you're gonna peel off your transfer. I hope you can see this. I will hold it up closer too. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for sprinkling. All right, I'm gonna make sure that I don't move that tape. So I'm gonna just attach this to my table for a moment while I see if I can tip this so you can see it a little bit better. You might have stuff everywhere. Okay, I know it's a little hard for you to see. There. Can you see the lines and the mark for the one foot? I don't know who's got a one foot baby, but not me. I'm a little bigger than that. So we're gonna move along to the next section, which will be that, which will be um, two feet to three, almost four feet. So I'm going to remove that from the carrier sheet as I did before. And this end of it also has registration marks. So I'm going to try to line up these registration marks with the ones that I just chalked. Do you guys know anybody with little kids that would love to have something like this? I think this would be a really cool gift there and this should go right about here whoops I didn't stick it down hard enough okay right there and right there okay we're just gonna work our way down this board do you think I should add some flowers to the top portion of this or just leave it plain what do you guys think okay 
Okay, I'm going to smooth this all out. And before I start chalking this part, I'm going to add some more um, washi tape or, or um, tape painter's tape to this end. Because again, there are, pink, there are the um, registration marks. Alright, let's see where these go. Probably better if I just attach it to the back of the transfer, right? Am I getting out of camera yet? I'm trying not to. Alright, let's get that nice and smooth. Uh, I am going to have to move this though because this line right here is covered by the washi tape. So I'll just pull that up because I know it's in the right spot. And that should be perfect. Let's try not to get it crooked, right? <laughs> okay, if you guys have any questions while I'm going, please stop me and ask me. I can see what your comments for the most part. Get my little registrations, and I'm going to just smooth this over the design. I can pretty well guess approximately how much chalk I need now that I've been doing this for a long time, but if you are just learning, you're going to put extra chalk paste on. Use more than you think you need because all of the excess will go right back into the jar. So that is covered. And we're going to go back in and scrape off the excess. So you guys probably realized that we had a, a brand new catalog launch on July 15th. This is one of the most popular transfers in the catalog. What do you think of that? Okay, almost done. All that excess off. You want to always remove your transfer before the paste dries. Or when you pull the transfer off, it'll uh, it'll stick to your surface, your transfer instead of your surface. It's really good. I will take a better picture of this later on so that you can see in all the detail. There we go. I just attach my transfers to the side of my table till I'm um, till I'm ready to clean them, which I do usually either after my live is over or when um, in the morning. Sometimes depends. Let's see, I don't know if I'm gonna fit this all the way out. Okay, now let me drop it, you guys. It's hitting the door. It's scary. Okay. So here we go, this is going to be a little bit less than four feet up to almost six feet. That's the next section. Alright, you guys got to let me know if you think I should put flowers on this or leave it plain. What do you think? Goodness. These are sometimes hard to see in my old eyes. There we go. Okay. Pull this up. My husband was like, you need a board how long? I don't usually do projects quite this big. All right, so. Again, I'm going to need to pull off the bottom part where the washi tape is and move it over here on this end. Wow, I thought this was a little bit taller, this this board than it actually is, so it's not quite six feet. We'll see. That's it, kids. You can't grow any any taller than my board. That's what you gotta tell them. So what's everybody doing today? I spent about two hours on the phone with Microsoft today because things weren't working properly. And I think it's solved the problem, but I think the problem was solved when I restarted my computer. Depends if it's a boy or a girl. I know, so even if it's a boy, you can write more than one child on here, right? So you could just do it to match your home. If you have a boy and a girl, who says that boys can't use flowers, by the way? Who made up that crazy rule? Not I. All right. I think 
I'll, what I'll do is I'll try and see how that transfer looks on here, the one that I pulled out. I forgot about it until I just about when I went live, so I grabbed one quick. That will work, I think. Okay, scrape all that excess off. Yeah, I was gonna post some bundles on my uh, business page today, you guys. However, my computer was not cooperating, so I will do that tonight. Some bundles available if you guys would be interested. You wanna check back later. There's some really cute ones, including some Christmas ones. All right, Ooh, one little stick left. All right, kids, you can't grow too tall. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Flowers and soccer balls. It's not a bad idea. I guess it all depends on the family, right? This one's a little more manageable size. All right, you um, see right there. And this one's probably in the right spot. Pretty, pretty close. Well, it does make it to six feet. So there you go. Kids can't grow any taller than that because it won't go on your, your chart. I guess when you hit six feet, you're probably getting too big to get measured, right? I love that flowers and soccer balls. That's a great idea. Ah, I just can't write six on here, darn it. No room. Okay. We have our measurements done. I'm gonna tip this up so you guys can see it. It's really cute. If it doesn't tip over on me, that is. All right. Now I have chalk all over my hands. Wouldn't be me if I didn't, right? So there you can see we've got all the way, all the way up to our six feet of children. I can't even get it any further. I'd be out the door. Okay, so let me check out the transfer that I brought with me to see if you think it would work. I'm just going to clean up my fingers for a moment. Hi, Kaylee. How are you feeling, honey? My girl Kaylee hasn't been feeling well. But I think she's on the mend. Kaylee is my niece, and she needs to come over and chop with me one of these days. What do you guys think? Do you think we should have her come live with me? Actually, I was thinking of a project for your locker in case you ever get to go back to school. All right. Looks so cute, you guys. Except I missed a line right there. How did that happen? What in the world? All right, I'll have to go back and get that later. So the transfer that I brought out is an all day and you could use really anything that you have to decorate these on the ends, the tops if you want to. This one is our Club Couture transfer from, I'm gonna say 2018 in March. It's an old day. It might not fit though. I'm just thinking it might not. So this is kind of um, a vine with some flowers. They kind of look like apple blossoms. So I thought that might look kind of cute like up in the top here. What do you guys think? And then we've got the words, love, love grows here that I can put just below, just be, be below it here. What do you guys think, yay or nay? Cindy says sure. Cindy says sure. I think we're gonna do it. The heck. Let's make it happen. Do you want me to move my cameras a little bit so you can see better or is this good? Yeah, you can't see very much. Let me move my camera a little bit. Hi, Cindy. All right, let's see if I can move this a little bit so that you can see the other end of my table. 
that work? Oh, it's this one up above that's giving me the problem. All right, let's do it. Okay, I told you this was gonna be a big project, you guys. And now I have my head cut off, so you can't see me at all, can you? Let me fix that too. That should do it. All right, sorry about that, guys. All right, so this has been used before, so I will not need to fuzz it. I'm gonna show you again what that looks like. There's flowers here. And there's also some vines that is an overlay that goes with it. So I'm thinking I'm going to do this in pink and green. You can't see. I know. I'm so sorry. I think I fixed it though, Cindy. We're making a growth chart and it is bigger than my room is wide. My room is only about six by six. <laughs> Sounds like a prison cell. <laughs> okay. All right. You're better. Okay. So I'm going to put this down here in the corner, or up here in the corner, I guess it's the upper part. Get that nice and smooth. I'm not too worried about the paste here, it is dried already, it dries super fast as you know. And we'll rub that down nice and tight. So the colors that I picked are uh, eucalyptus which is like our sage green that we have now. This is an older color. And peony, or peone, depending on where you live, it's pronounced different things. All right, I'm sorry, you guys cannot see this very well, I'm trying. All right, so let's see, I haven't used this in a while, but it looks pretty nice, but I'm gonna give it a good stir. And this one feels a little thicker than I like it. You guys know I, I like to have my chalk paste about the consistency of cake batter. So I'm going to add just a little bit of distilled water and stir that up so that it smooths it out a little bit. That feels better. So you do want to use distilled water. We're finding that, um, and I found that using tap water um, sometimes causes my paste to get mildewed on it. So um, I, since I've been using distilled water, I haven't had a problem. So I, um, I just got it, by, I got a gallon of it at the grocery store for like a dollar or something. It's pretty inexpensive. All right, so we're gonna do these flowers. Again, I apologize that you can't see me very clearly, but it's the best I can do. So I'm gonna scoop out some of that chalk paste and start smoothing it all over this design here. This is the colored part of the flower. I could put one of these on the bottom too, but I think it would be overkill. Keep it simple, right Leslie? So my friend Leslie always tells me. And I think she's right. Okay, so I've covered that whole design and scraped off the excess. And we're gonna pull that off. Oh, I like it. The pink looks really nice. Okay, that part's done. So I'm gonna dry this. Just trying to stay out of the way, guys. I'm gonna hit this with my heat tool for just a couple of minutes. Not even minutes, just for a minute. And this will dry really, really quickly. If you guys wanna let it air dry, that is perfectly fine. But because I'm going to be doing a layering on top of this, I want to be sure that it's nice and dry. Really, really dry. Almost done. Heat tools are super hot. You want to be careful to keep it moving so that you don't boil your chalk paste. I've done it. You can also burn your hand. So if you're using a tool like this, they're awesome. Just be careful. They're a lot hotter than a hair dryer, which is something you can also use to dry your paste quicker. Okay, that feels pretty good. All right, so now we're gonna overlay it with this really detailed um, design. And I'm gonna do this in that eucalyptus color, as I said before, and then do the, um, 
the title which said love grows here in white also like the letters the numbers on this on the growth chart so as I recall using this before lining everything up was the tricky part <laughs> we'll see how it goes that looks pretty good right there can't make it too easy right Mm, nope, that's not quite right. Let's see. Three little buds right here that I'm trying to use for my lineup. That goes there. That should fall right into place. Now let's see if I can get this side to fall into place. I've got it. All right. Looks pretty good. This is kind of like a watercolor effect with this transfer. It's really pretty. All right, so let's stir up the eucalyptus a little bit. I haven't used that color in a while. It's kind of a, a grayish, kind of country green. <laughs> country green. I don't know. Kind of a grayish sage color, which is really pretty. And again, this one just needs a little tiny bit of water. And it's good to go. Stir, stir, stir. Kaylee, are you still watching? Your mom could use this in her daycare. My sister has a home daycare with oodles of little kids running around all the time. And she could even chart their growth on here. I can't even tell you how many kids she's had in her daycare. Leslie, you too. Okay. Another squeegee. And here we go. I'm just gonna cover that with a chalk paste. Again, anything, any, any place where you see an open area where you can see the gray shining through, that means that is part of the silk screen, which creates the really uh, beautiful detailed designs in chalk couture transfer. So I wanted to mention to you guys once again that if you are a member of Club Couture, and I know I have a lot of you that are, this month you can order anything you want all month long as many orders as you want and get free shipping that's something we have never done before i don't even get free shipping so be sure to take advantage of that okay it is scraped ready to pull this it's going to be pretty all right here we go yeah that looks cool <laughs> I like it. I'm glad we did that, you guys. Let me tip it up so you can see. I'm gonna keep my hands out of the chalk. I will do that. Okay. I made a mess tonight. I'm gonna bring this nice and close so you can see it. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> I have to go backwards on everything I do with my camera here. Isn't that pretty? Okay, well, let's finish this up with the Love Grows Here part. And there's still plenty of room to write on here. All right, so I'm thinking we're going to go right about here. Try not to stick the flowers in it. Even if I do, it's okay, right? That looks pretty straight. Yeah. Oh, I'm right on a number here. I'm going to move it a little bit. Don't want to crouch on my five. Okay, there we go. That's a good spot. This is kind of that Ray Dunn font, that tall, skinny, uh, real simple font that Ray Dunn uses. Oh, thanks, Cindy. She's so nice to me all the time. She really is. Let's get that white going again. My squeegee has pink on it, so we'll get another one. I think I have a lot of these, huh? Okay, let's scoop out some white and cover this design with this color. And I try to use nice long strokes when I'm doing this as long as I can. If you're doing little tiny strokes trying to stay in the lines, you're actually fanning your chalk dry. 
And that is not what we want to happen. So nice long strokes if you can. Okay. My computer is telling me that my battery is almost dead. Figures. So if I uh, don't respond to you, that's why. But I'm still live on my iPad. And you can still watch. There we go. All right, so I'm also trying to smooth out any of those lines that are left. Doesn't usually matter, but sometimes you can see them. Um, and you want a nice thin coat of your chalk paste. It always looks better when you have a nice thin coat. Put these, cover up my chalk. Pull this transfer off to see how it looks. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, you guys. It is pretty darn sweet. Let's dry that for a second. <laughs> All right, you guys, this looks really cute. I'm gonna hold it up again so you can see it up close again. Might be better if I just tip it. Tell me what you think. Do I need to add anything or do you like it just like it is? Obviously this is going to be standing up, but I think it's going to look adorable. Adorable. All right. Well, that is my project for tonight. It was super easy. You can actually go to your uh, local Home Depot or Lowe's and pick out a board. And if you need to cut it, most of the time the guys are really great about cutting it to size for you. Um, I used a stain, actually an oil-based stain. No, this was water-based on this board. And um, you saw how we did the rest. This transfer is available on my website. I do have one in stock if you are local and would like to do a porch pickup. But um, you can click on my link up in the description to get it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Too bad your kids are grown. Someday I can have grandchildren, Cindy. It'll happen hopefully. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's project is going to be a lot smaller, <laughs> but I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be a really useful project and it's going to look great too. So be sure to tune in at 7 p.m. and I'll be here. I don't know if I can even get over there to turn my camera off, but thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, message me. If you shared, please write share in the comments. And I will be um, sending five people, five wonderful sharing people, I said that word, happy mail <laughs> by the end of the week. So have a great night and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.